Hey, everybody, this is Troy Alexander, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We are back one more time every week to encourage you to go get that goal. Our motto is dream, take that step, and walk with purpose into your destiny tonight. I'm so excited to have a wonderful, amazing, phenomenal, outstanding, just all of those and more guests tonight. But before that, listen, stay connected with us. We're on Facebook, Troy Alexander, our nonprofit call to inspire dot. Org. And listen, we're on YouTube, Inspiration with Troy Alexander. Listen, y'all, tonight, every week, I want to encourage you to not give up on your dream. So listen, I wrote this on Facebook a couple of days ago. I said, the sun does not ask permission to shine. And why don't, listen, don't you ask permission to be who you are, but be determined to go and walk in your purpose and in your destiny. Just as the sun shines, even when it's raining. But what happens is when you rise above the clouds, the sun is still doing what it was purpose to do. And I encourage you tonight to do the same. Don't ask for permission to be the great person that you want and to allow the greatness that's within you to shine as you are destined to do. Well, listen, y'all, tonight we have a phenomenal guest. Listen, she is our, our, yes, 2022 USA National Miss New Jersey team. Listen, she is awarded the Presidential Award for Excellence. Listen, she is the New Jersey State Ambassador for Autism. She is also a varsity cheer captain. Yes, I said it, captain. Listen, she is the creator of Be Someone Sunshine. I can't wait to talk about that. Listen, she is an AP and honor student. Listen, and not only that, but she is an aspiring New York best, I'm sorry, New York Times best-selling children's author. Listen, let's welcome Alexa Serafin. How are you, Alexa? I'm great. How are you? I am fantastic. Thank you for the honor, again, for being on our broadcast. I'm so privileged. I'm listening. I, you are just amazing, and I can't wait to talk more about your journey. I want to start with your platform. Listen, I, I said, be someone's sunshine. Tell us about your platform. And how did this come about? So when I moved to new school, I found it very difficult to fit in, but it made me realize like firsthand how our words and our actions can really impact somebody's life. This really opened my eyes to see how similar experiences were happening with my two special needs cousins and how simple acts of kindness and positivity really made their day and made them smile, which in the end really inspired me to start my very own platform, Be Someone Sunshine, where my goal is to spread a message of positivity and kindness, just one smile and one act at a time. Through this initiative, I have been able to create multiple social media movements, my very own 31 Rays a Sunshine Kindness Challenge. And now I'm actually on my way to creating my very own book to just reinforce this message that all it takes is one simple act of kindness to make a difference. Wow, everybody, do you see why she's so awesome and amazing? I'm telling you. If you don't know her, please get to know her because I'm telling you, she is going to be that New York Times bestselling author. You're turning your platform into a book? Uh, yes. Alexa? Yes. Wow. That is so amazing. And, and I'm just, listen, I can see t-shirts. I can see all kinds of merchandise of, <laughs> of you doing such amazing things. I, I love the fact that you said one smile, right, can change someone's world, which is so amazing. So I got to ask you, listen. While it's it's so important to be that for someone else, like who 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 is your sunshine? What who who helps you to continue to just be so positive? Because again, with being a teenager with so much going on, who is your sunshine? Who helps you to stay so positive? Well, I'm so fortunate to have two rays of sunshine in my life that inspire me on a daily basis. My grandma is a very tenacious person with a very strong belief system and is very strong in believing in the power of prayer. She is always my ray of sunshine, is always very positive and encourages me on a daily basis. And my mom is truly my best friend and my biggest cheerleader. She's always there to put a smile on my face and make me laugh. And they are truly, they truly embody what it means to be someone's sunshine. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I know your mother and your grandmother are so proud of you because I'm telling you, just, just to read your bio, to see what you're doing, I am so proud of you. So I know that those who know you closest can only imagine how proud they are of you. So, so proud of you, Alexa. You are just continuing. You are a light. 
you you are that sunshine for so many and we're so proud of you listen i saw this post on instagram and it said what if today we were just grateful for everything that was a powerful post alexa and so i want to ask you what are you grateful for for me i'm grateful to wake up every single day and have the opportunity to have a clean slate so many times I feel like we can focus on the negatives of what we don't have, the job we didn't get or the crown we didn't win. But I think it's so important to appreciate the little things that we have. For me, I have a gratitude journal where every single night I write down three things that I'm grateful for every single day. And this is so important for me because if I'm ever having a bad day or something goes wrong, I look through my journal, flip a couple pages and just read off a random thing I'm grateful for. And it just reminds me of how much that I truly have in life and so much to be truly blessed and grateful for. Wow, Alexa, you have a, a, a journal that you write three positive things every day? Yes. Wow, even when you're not having the best day? Yep, I think it's so important to find the beauty in the worst days. Yes, yes. As we said earlier, Alexa, like even though it's storming, it's raining, it's just dreary, but if we can rise above those clouds, Alexa, listen, the sun, I'm always amazed as I'm flying in a plane, right? When you rise above the rain, the sun doesn't, it hasn't changed. Mm -hmm. It remains. And, and I love that about you, how you, even on those, those days that are, aren't so bright, but you go back to the, to the time and you read those and, and you find the brightness, even in the dark moments. That's powerful. Yes. Powerful. Listen, so I got to ask you if, if, if someone asks you, because I, I can probably tell already, but if someone asks you what your purpose is, what would you say? At 16 years old, my purpose is definitely continually growing and I'm learning every single day what I believe I'm destined to do, but I do truly enjoy making a difference. I love spreading sunshine and positivity because there's so much more that I plan for filling my purpose with my initiative of Be Someone Sunshine. I believe that it's so important to keep a positive attitude, not only for others so they can absorb that positivity and kindness, but for yourself as well. I believe it's so important to look at positive affirmations and positive quotes and just be able to continue this level of kindness and positivity is what I believe that I'm destined to do. Yes, you are destined. <laughs> you are truly destined. I, listen, I, I'm telling you, make sure if you know her, get a selfie with her, get an autograph. I'm telling you right now because it, it's, it's, it's such a wonderful thing to, 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 to see something greater than where you are, right? To know that there's more beyond where you are. So I got to ask you, listen, you are our 2000. Yes, 22. My God, USA National Miss New Jersey team. Why was this path so important for you? And what does it mean for, for you to have this crown? I was immediately drawn to UNM because it's a faith-based organization and it focuses on each and every delegate and what they have to offer. The amazing Inspire platform also provides me with the opportunity to spread my initiative of Be Someone Sunshine on a brand new level. The crown of UNM to me is not just a shiny piece of hardware to put on your head, but and more importantly, Ms. Jackie said it best, the five points of the crown have their own meaning, compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. To me, these are definitely the most important qualities that make up a national queen and that I believe that I'm able to offer. Wow, wow, wow. Listen, Alex, I gotta ask you, um, you've talked about faith, um, your, your grandmother with prayer, and you talked about how this system, you know, you know is built on like, like, like the faith and the belief. How, what, how, how important has your faith been to you along this journey? I definitely believe faith is so important. Believing that God has a plan for me and if I win this crown or if I don't, I know that what's meant for me will not pass me. And that's something that's been constantly reinforced, not only by my grandma, but more importantly through my manifestations, my prayers, just believing that there's a path for me. And if this is in my path, it is. And if it's not, it's okay too. Wow. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so enamored by you, Alexa. I mean, because to, to, to be 16 and to have that type of mindset, like that is so valuable, right? Because I was going to ask you a little later, but I, I'll ask it now. So as you go into pageantry, right? So it's it's one crown, right? But, but so many are vying for that crown. Do you prepare? And I, and I think I heard like a little bit of it, but do you prepare yourself? Like if your name isn't called, as well as hopefully that your name is called. 
So I definitely believe you can't focus too much on what's going to happen on the day. I think so many times you can focus on what the judges are going to think in that exact moment and their scores they're going to give you. But it's so important to go out there and just do your ultimate best and give it all and leave it all out there. So many times you need to realize that it's just five people's opinions and a different set, a different day, a different set of judges, and it will be a different outcome. So for me, when I'm preparing, I do prepare if my name doesn't get called. I pre mentally prepare myself for the stress of the week to come. And I do prepare myself that it's okay if I don't win, because I'm still going to be able to spread my initiative and be able to keep my mission going. Yes, Alexa, listen, it doesn't change who you are, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. change your purpose. It doesn't change your destiny. That And, and so even as you talk about the judges, I wanted to ask you because I, you know, I've, I've talked to a lot of title holders, right? And I, I've asked them like, do you study or do you like, like think about what the judges might be looking for? And do you like adjust your platform? Well, well, not your platform, but do you adjust your approach in that way? Or do you just maintain like who you are and just, you, you know, that's it. I definitely think it's important to maintain who you are. The judges want somebody who is truly themselves and just putting yourself out there and being the best version of yourself and preparing yourself to the best of your ability is going to make you be that on stage. I think you can't get too caught up in what the judges are thinking at that moment because you can't you can't really know what they're going to think or what they're going to want as a title holder. It's all based on opinion. So it's so important to just put your all out there and you won't have any regrets coming off stage then. See why she's our, our 2022. Listen, listen, all I can say is just, just continue to be who you are, Alexa. Don't, don't allow anything to check because you are such a light of inspiration and a joy. And I'm telling you, your smile lights the world. You are impacting people that will never even like approach you or that you even know them. So continue to just be as amazing and awesome as you are. And so, I, listen, I, I, I have to ask you about your, your preparation. You talked about how you mentally prepare. Tell me, how do you physically, like, how do you, like, are you rehearsing? Do you have coaches? Are you doing, like, hours? Or, or by now, do you kind of know what you're going to do? Like, tell me about your preparation process. I have two amazing coaches that definitely go into the process of me preparing, Michaela Balgas and Jorge Esteban. They are constantly helping me, not only with my walks and my mock interviews, but most importantly, they are helping me in delivering the message I want to be able to deliver on pageant week. And they're making me feel less nerve wracking and just making me believe that everything that I'm doing makes me ready. And then I also obviously have some definitely practicing with my mom on the side, whether it's running a couple interview questions with her or putting on my favorite songs and practicing my walks. It's definitely important to keep preparation with my coaches and without my coaches as well. Wow. Listen, it's amazing that, um, you know, so many people around you support you and rooting for you. And I want you to know, Alexa, I'm one of them. I am, I am somebody that is rooting for you and just whatever I can do to support you on, on your next uh, path of journey going forward, because you are just awesome. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's just amazing to be able to have this honor to, to, to talk to you and hear your journey thus far. So listen, I got to ask you, um, tell me about um, this, this, you know, there's so much talk now about the mental health, right? About, about being positive and, and being uplifting and, but just, you know, being able to share, right? Your truth, right? To, to, to be transparent and open. So I wanted to ask you, do you feel any pressure at all in terms of being perfect or at least presenting that way to the public? Because I've heard some of you say like, you know what? It's hard for me to be like, just me, like being okay. Like, you know, like, I got to be perfect to present myself this way. Have you ever felt that kind of pressure in any way? Definitely. I do consider myself a little bit of a, of a perfectionist. Okay. So sometimes I can be a little bit too hard on myself with what I'm doing, but I think it's so important to remember that we all can get so caught up in the idea of a perfect pageant girl, this mold that people want us to fit. 
but everybody has their different opinion and their different idea of what this mold is. So I think it's important to just put yourself out there and be who you want to be. In the end, for me, pageants has given me the opportunity to truly come out of my shell and be able to become the person that I want to become and be able to spread the message that I want to. So for this mold to control who I am, I don't, I don't believe in that. I believe that I'm able to spread my purpose and my journey throughout, throughout this amazing thing of pageantry. Listen, I wanted to like, like shout as you were talking, but I didn't want to interrupt you. But <laughs> I, love, I love the fact how you talked about mold. And all I know is, Alexa, you are breaking the mold, right? You, you are creating your own mold and empowering others through this, this be someone sunshine, right? And, and all that you're doing to say, you know what? Create your own mold. Why, why, why try to fit in, right? To, to something else, you know, um, but create a platform that fits you. And I love that about you. So thank you for sharing that. I love that about you. Um, what is it about pageantry that you love the most? the opportunities that, is, that it has given me over the course of the years I've been competing. I've been competing in pageants since I was just seven year old. So way back in 2013, and I started pageants as a very shy girl. And I was typically like scared of my own shadow. I was terrified to go up on stage let alone hold a conversation in an interview. And throughout this 10 year journey, I have been able to become a new person and to be able to step into my own. I've not only been able to learn how to use my voice, but use it for the, mesh, for the mission I would love to spread. I was able to create my initiative, Be Someone Sunshine, and it wouldn't have been able to have been started and I wouldn't have been able to get the confidence and the courage to do so without pageantry. You know what, I, I love your words. I Thank love, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you, I'm like, wow. I mean, it's just so, and then to hear that you were shy at first. <laughs> really? Hard to believe. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm sitting here like, wow. I mean, it's just to see you now and from where you come from. What I love about, what that tells me, Alexa, is that you're, you're continuously evolving and you're growing. And, and I, and I love that, like never be a statue, right? Like don't, don't ever get to a place where I've reached it and that's it. No, set that next goal, set that next goal because your destiny is, 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 is purpose to expand and grow. So again, so proud of you and all that you're doing and most of all who you are. Thank you. So I gotta ask you again, being on stage is such a huge platform. Right? You're in front of so many people and the audience and the, the families and so forth. So I got to ask you, um, how do you stay focused? What, what, is there anything that you do like before you go on stage? Do you have a routine that you do? But what helps you stay so focused? So actually, my very first pageant, my mom bought me this book of positive affirmations. And it's just like positive quotes and inspiration before I go on stage. And I bring this with me to every single pageant I go to and before I go on stage for casual wear, before I go in an interview or even before crowning, I always make sure I read an inspiration quote, inspirational quote. And it really reminds me that not only of this level of positivity and motivation, but more importantly of the growth I've been able to make over the course of this 10 years. And it really reminds me of how far I've been able to come. And it just what really gets me going and really makes me confident in myself that I'll be able to have this. And no matter crown or not, I can do this. Yes, you can, Alexa. Yes, you can. I love that. So listen, what 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 keeps you motivated? Out of this 10 years, right? What what is it that has kept you going and going and not giving up? Definitely the growth, but more importantly, the impact I've been able to make. I started my initiative, Be Someone Sunshine, in 2018, and the people that I've been able to reach, the initiatives and the social media movements I've been able to that I've been able to create is really what inspires me to keep doing more. I have been able to create my 31 Rays of Sunshine Kindness Challenge, which I had so much fun doing. A 30 or for 31 days, I completed a random act of kindness for a whole month. And I saw the impact I was able to make, not only in my community, but I was able to spread it to girls all across the nation that where they were able to complete the same random act of kindness that I was. And I think things like this is what really reminds me that there's so much more that I've left to do and that I've already been able to make such an impact so far. So I'm so excited to see what bigger impacts I can make in the future. Listen, Alexa, listen, I, I have to applaud you because as you're talking, 
I, I, I hear you say the 31 days, right? Was it 31 mm -hmm, 30, days? Yes. Okay, so 31 days. So, so I'm seeing this year, this, this 12 month book, right? Of affirmations from you. Like one day of for every for, for the entire year, right? Yes. So I don't know if you if you will ever do that, but I, I saw that as you were talking, like, wow, imagine having an affirmation for every day. I love that. Year. Yes. I mean, that would be amazing. And again, not that you have to do it, but I like I hear like things as I'm talking to guests, right? But I saw that. I'm like, wow. Um, so y'all get ready. Don't don't be surprised if Alexa comes out with like this, you know, what is it? 350, how many days in a year? 365. 365. Thank you so much. Listen, I'm having a mess, right? But imagine that 365 affirmation. I know it's a lot of work, but it's okay because you're so busy, but no worries. <laughs> but if you ever think about it, that would be truly amazing. So definitely thinking about yeah, it. Yeah. So listen, so I got to ask you is there anything else um, that's on your vision board? Because again, we have more to talk about, but is there anything else that you have to, that, that you have planned? that you want to achieve that you haven't achieved yet? Definitely. My vision board is constantly updating and I'm sure there will always be something that I have to add on to it because what's so amazing is I believe that you should always have a new goal to reach for and a new thing to strive for. So whether it started with me being able to start my initiative of Be Someone Sunshine to now my main focus on my vision board is being able to create my very own book. It's something always new and always fresh and I'm able to work on and spend my time on. Wow. Wow. Well, I can't wait. I want a personal signed copy. Okay. You will get make, one. All right. All right. I want to make sure I be the one of the first ones to buy a copy of that. Of so, I, absolutely. So um, I want to ask you this. Um, if you were teaching a masterclass on, on how one can become the next USA national Miss New Jersey team, what would one or two areas of focus, what would you focus on in, in teaching in this class? Definitely your mission and your purpose. For me, I think this is such in two very important things that go into being, whether it's state title holder or a national title holder, you need to focus on your reason why you're doing this. Why are you competing? For me, I'm competing not only to gain life skills, such as being able to have an interview or walk up on stage, but more importantly, being able to spread my initiative of Be Someone Sunshine and have this microphone that I'm able to get on a larger platform and be able to spread the message I really would love to spread. And which ties hand in hand with your mission, your mission. Why are you, why do you want this? Why do you want this purpose? And what is going behind your job if you're doing it? And I, for me, this also relates back to my initiative and how important it is for me to spread my message of kindness and positivity. Listen, I don't know where, like, if you plan to continue on in pageantry, all I know is whatever level, whatever, uh, you, listen, you're going to be amazing and even more amazing than you already are. So Thank listen, I, I'm just so, again, in, in awe of you. And so I have to ask you, listen, is there any part of pageantry that is challenging to you, right? Because you've been in it for 10 years. You have amazing coaches. You have amazing support systems. Your mom, your grandmother, right? Is there any part of the process now that's that's challenging for you in any way? Definitely being able to manage my time between school, clubs, grades, and then having to practice for nationals and preparing myself can definitely be challenging sometimes. Sometimes I need to miss out on a couple naps or I can't <laughs> hang out with my friends as much. But the way I'm able to manage this is creating tons and tons of to-do lists. I'm a very organized person. So I have my entire day mapped out hour by hour of what I'm doing. And I think this definitely helps me with managing my time and being able to devote the right amount of time I need to in order to do my best at nationals. Wow, I can see it now. The Alexa Seraphin Consulting Firm, because <laughs> a lot of people need your help. <laughs> Just so you know, like a lot, we're, we're like, wow, hour by hour. Like, um, how much do you charge? Because I need that. I need help now. Uh, Ten dollars awesome. an hour for now. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, y'all. That was just. We're joking because it's really more like a hundred. So she was being <laughs> kind. She's being kind, but it's really more like a hundred dollars an hour, all right? Um, and yes, but no, that's amazing. That's amazing. So I gotta ask you, tell me more about this presidential award of excellence. How how did this come about? And for those who may not know what it means, what does it mean to be awarded the presidential award 
for excellence. The Presidential Award of Excellence is awarded to students who maintain straight A's all throughout the year and who complete at least 100 hours of community service. And for me, I definitely take a lot of pride in my schoolwork and the award means a lot because I do devote a lot of time towards my APs and honors classes and definitely have lost some sleep sometimes studying. And more importantly than that, I also devote lots and lots of time to my community service. I truly have a heart to serve and I believe it is so important to stay active in your community, which is why this award means so, so much to me. Well, I want to applaud you because you. I'm, I'm still trying to find out where do you find time for all of this and time <laughs> to sleep? You know, like, you know, I, I, I'm just amazed. Um, so, so you are also, uh, a New Jersey ambassador for autism. Why did you choose this cause to champion? So I actually have a cousin who has autism and I see the struggles he goes through on a daily basis, whether it's being able to do basic reading and writing skills or math, but more importantly, being able to fit in with his peers and being able to feel part. Being a state ambassador of autism for the state of New Jersey has been such an amazing opportunity because it's been able to allow me to be that buddy and to be that friend and to make people with autism feel more accepted and loved. Wow. I like I want to applaud after every answer you get, right? So I'm trying to maintain myself right as a professional, inter but you are, you're so awesome. So all right. So listen, y'all. Not only that, we talked about again, she's she's just like the all world queen, right? Again, the presidential uh, award of excellence, right? We talked about her, her, her champion for the cause of autism, but, but you're also a varsity cheer captain. I'm like, where did you even find time to, so, so first of all, was this something that you desired and how does one become a captain? So this actually a funny story because my mom went to the same high school that I currently go to and she was cheer captain. So I grew up hearing all the amazing stories of her time on the cheerleading squad. And ever since I was a little girl, I would go to the football games and I always knew that was something that I definitely wanted to become and definitely wanted to be on the cheer team. So I tried out for cheer captain, which was actually a pretty difficult process. I had to complete in a one-on-one -on -one interview with my coach. And I believe thanks to pageants that I was able to not have so much stress and anxiety on it, but rather I was excited to be able to share why I would make a great cheer captain. And I also had to write an essay, which for me was so much fun because I love being able to write and I get to put my writing skills to the test. And just being cheer captain is such an exciting thing that I'm definitely looking forward to for my senior year. Oh, listen, I, I'm, I'm saying, like, to me, that would seem a, a lot of, like a very pressure filled role. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel pressure or do you like, you know what, this is a challenge that I want and I'm ready for it? This is definitely a challenge that I'm ready for and I definitely want as although I haven't been a competitive cheerleader cheering my whole life, this is something that I believe that being cheer captain isn't only based on how many flips you can do or how good you are at stunting, but it's all about your attitude and the way you're able to lift up the crowd with positivity and uplift them even when we're not doing the best in games, but to just encourage everyone to be on their feet and to get excited. Wow. Oh, and, and to... To, to be a cheer captain at the same school that your mother was a cheer captain, that, that, that must be so amazing. Mm -hmm. So listen, as you're talking, right, I take photos. We got to do a cheer photo shoot with you and your mom, your mom in her cheer gear, and you and your cheer gear. <laughs> yes, I'm we do. You. That would be awesome, Her mom right? is all for it. You have her on. <laughs> that she would loves be amazing. it. <laughs> yes, that would be amazing. Yes. Wow. I mean, a mother-daughter cheer captain, that would be, <laughs> listen, I don't know if that exists or, over the country, but you could start like a viral trend, right? <laughs> of like all mother-daughter cheer captains, let's show up, right? You know all your stories? Yeah. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> um, so again, you, not only that, everybody, she is academically like awesome. Like, like her brain, like I need to kind of like learn. So, but but you are AP honor student, and with all that you do, how do you time the, how do you find the time, the energy, the the, the focus to be so amazing academically as well? 
Definitely lots of coffee and to-do lists. <laughs> For me, I am definitely a very organized person. I need, I have so many to-do lists, whether it's on my whiteboard or I have my Google calendar where I have every single event hour by hour, what I'm planning on doing for the rest of my day and for the rest of the next month, because I love to have everything planned out and everything being in front of me. So I know how to manage my time correctly. So I devote the correct amount of time to each thing, each and everything I do. Now, Alexa, I got to ask you because you're such a perfectionist, right? So, so I didn't ask you this before, but, 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 but I didn't want to ask you, um, what happens when you don't meet a goal that you set out for that hour or like, do you get frustrated? Does it bother you a lot? Or are you able to kind of regroup and kind of go forward? Of course, I might have a minute where I'm a little bit upset or frustrated, <laughs> but I get over that and I find myself a new goal and something to, I like to have something to always strive for and something to work for. I think it's very important, whether it's getting a better grade on my next test or being able to have a new position if I didn't get the one I, I just wanted. I think it's so important to constantly have something to work for and constantly to strive for. And then I can add that to my to-do list too. So it's okay. <laughs> okay. I, I just want to make sure that you're good. Like, because I know what, because he, I was a perfectionist too. Like, like I really wanted to do the best that I can do and meet the goals that I set out. And if I didn't meet it, like I really was hard on myself, but what I did was I worked harder. Mm -hmm. So the next time I faced that, that seems right. So I would kind of be focused. So, but yes, I want to make sure that you were good. That you were okay. Yes, I'm good. Oh, okay. All right. So, so I know I asked you in the pre-production conversation. So I'll ask you, you know, what, what do you aspire to do or be going forward in life? I definitely want to become a teacher, an elementary school teacher, preferably. Um, my favorite teacher was actually my first grade teacher, and she really inspired this goal of becoming a teacher to me. She always took the time, if I ever struggled with anything, to really map it out and explain it to me and make sure I understood it. And for me, that was truly inspiring because it really made me believe that someone believed in me and someone was looking out for me. And I really want to be able to be that person in a little kid's life. Wow. Oh. I, I, you know, those children are going to be so blessed to have you. Thank you. I mean, though, I mean, I can see it already. Like, 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 I want to go to Miss Sanford's class. You know, <laughs> that was a good time. I can, I, I can just see the kids running to your class, with like, so, like, not wanting to leave and crying because they got to leave and go home, right? Um, because, because you're so awesome and so amazing. So, I can't wait for you to have that opportunity. So, listen. This this really, you know, piqued my interest where you said you have a goal to, 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 to be an aspiring New York Times bestselling children's author. How did how did this even come about? And I wanted to ask you, like, where did your love of writing come from? I've always had a love of writing ever since I was a little girl. I would definitely do lots of creative writing, whether it was writing little horror stories or up to now. I journal every single day about my day and what went on. And I just really love being able to get out my feelings. And that's why I'm able to really express myself is in my words and in my writing. Good. No, that is such a powerful uh, statement that you just made, Alexa, because so many people keep things like in, right? They don't share them. They don't express them. And, and with so much happening in the world now, it's important, right? That we have that outlet. And I'm so happy because, you know, your, your focus and, and, and your path is going to inspire so many others. You know what? Write down every day, right? Write three things that are positive that happen in the midst of all the things that go on, right? That, that, that are so, po and so, so thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that because I'm telling you, it's gone. And guess what? I have no doubt that you're going to become that New York Times best-selling author, all, all world, all universe, everywhere, because, because it's something that you're passionate about. And I, and I love the fact that you want to inspire our future, our children, and to uplift them. So is there a thing that your writings will focus on? If you know at this time, if you don't know, it's okay. But is there a focus that you want to kind of really uh, give attention to? Yes, definitely focusing mainly on my initiative of Be Someone Sunshine. I want to be able to write a children's book because I truly believe it's starting in the classroom and being able to have an interactive book where I'm able to teach kids the lesson and the importance of positivity and kindness. And not only that, but the, the importance behind their words and their actions, not only to their peers, but more importantly themselves. So they start off with a basis of knowing how important this is. 
Wow. Wow. Listen, and I hope you include an audio book because I can only imagine that's going to like to, to hear that in the car or that the child's going to school and playing that like in their, their, their whatever, <laughs> earbuds, whatever they call them nowadays. <laughs> but uh, but uh, that, that, that would be amazing for a young person to hear that positivity in an audio way. So I hope you consider that too. Definitely. That's awesome. <laughs> so listen, I, 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 I want to go back and ask you again, tell me about the power of words and, and, and how they have become such an influence to you. Not only have you focused on um, one's, one's outer expression, right, of a smile and how it can change the life of, of someone's day, right? Um, but, but, but the fact that you chose words, that you're choosing words that people can read. Tell me again, how, how powerful are words to you and, and, and why they're so important to you in terms of influencing someone else? As a victim of bullying, I really witnessed how the power of words can tear someone down as a person. But ever since then, it really made it my mission to be able to use these same words to lift others up whether it's through social media, whether it's through positive affirmations or my very own kindness challenges, I made it my mission to be able to use positive affirmations and our words to be able to uplift others because I truly believe there is so much power behind good or bad things you say. My goodness. Thank you. Listen, not, not, not only are you bringing smiles, but even those that have been bullied, Alexa, to see that you went through that experience, um, I wanted to ask you this one question. During that time, did you ever think that you would come out of that in such a positive way or come through it at all? As an optimist, I definitely knew that there was light at the end of the tunnel. And I knew that although it's not something I wanted to hear right now, that this was meant to be in my path. But there were definitely times in it where I was wondering, why is this happening to me? But seeing that this happened to other people and that it wasn't just an experience that happened to me really made me open my eyes and realize that I need to be the person who does something about this and I need to be the change in the world. Oh, and you are, you are Alexa, listen, I'm telling you. So I know it didn't feel good, but thank you to the bullies, right? Cause, cause, cause look, look what their words on the other side has allowed you to find your words on this side, which was positivity, sunshine, I liked it. So thank you so much because you pressed through it. And I'm so glad you did. Thank you, Alexa, for pressing thank through you. it because you are blessing so much the world and everyone that you touch. So thank you so much for that. So I have to ask you now, um, is there more that you want to share with us about your journey, about who you are, what, what's, what's next for you in any way that we haven't touched upon thus far? So right now I'm working towards the title of becoming USA National Miss Teen, which is something that is so exciting for me as UNM is definitely an organization that I want to definitely be a national queen for and that I've been able to love being a part of. I think my pageant journey is something that has really been able to grow me as a person. And I know that I will be able as a national title holder to share this level of determination and tenacity that I've been able to learn throughout my 10 years of competing. Listen, I can't wait. I'm so excited for you um, and all that you do. And just know this, everywhere you go, the light is brighter. You, you are bringing a brighter light. And so that may not um, present itself or exemplify itself in everything that we set out to do all the time, but just know you are a difference maker. You are changing lives. So continue to be who you are and so on. So I have to ask you, and I ask this of all of our guests, um, if you encounter someone that, you know, doesn't quite see their dream, right? Doesn't see how they're gonna reach their goal, reach their dreams, what would you say to them to encourage them to not give up? I would share with them my journey. I competed in pageants for 10 years and half the time I competed in pageants, I didn't come home with one award or one trophy with no recognition. But rather than setting me back and making me believe that this wasn't meant for me or I should just quit, it really propelled me to work harder and to continue working towards my goal of becoming someday a state title holder for whatever organization I desire to. Oh, and you are, you are. So we applaud you. Yes, yeah, I'll tell this everybody. I'm gonna say it again. She is our 
2022 USA National Miss New Jersey team. And, we're, and, and, and that will always be. No matter what happens, uh, that will always be Alexa. And, and But even before then, you were a queen. You were a queen. And so again, we applaud you. We're so proud of you and all of who you are. So I got to ask you now, um, is there anyone that you would like to acknowledge uh, along your path? Again, your, your wonderful grandmother, your mother, again, your coaches, but is there anyone else that you want to acknowledge that has been a part of your journey thus far? Definitely my whole family. They have dropped everything to support me and travel to different states, different national pageants, and have always been continually supporting me, even though that pageants were a little bit questionable in the beginning in my family and that it was really hard to learn more about. They accepted it and they learned more about it and now they all love it. I would say shout out to my brother who was my escort for pageants for about six years. And he was always dragged to all of my state and national pageants and always forced upon stage with me. So big shout out to him for that one. Awesome, awesome. Well, listen, uh, I applaud everybody that has been a part of your journey thus far. Um, we applaud them. So thank you. Thank you to your brother and everybody that has been a part of your journey thus far. Um, you are worth it. You you are truly priceless. and. And everyone that touches or, or has a privilege to be able to walk in the light that you have is, is, is all the more inspired and all the more blessed. And so thank you again, Alexa, for who you are. So I got to ask you, uh, where can people find you? How can they connect with you on social media? How can they support your platform? So you can find my main pageant account at Miss Alexa Gianna and my U USA National Miss New Jersey teen account is at UNM New Jersey teen 2022, where I have some very exciting things for my platform actually starting June 1st. I'm going to be starting up another round of my 31 Rays a Sunshine Kindness Challenge. So I'm so excited to share that with everyone. And I'm so excited for everyone to join in spreading the sunshine. Wonderful. And listen, I'm going to get it right. 365 days. So hopefully, <laughs> so this time, yes. listen, it, it would be wonderful. But listen, I all I know is that every word that you write will last a lifetime. Every, every sunshine that you give, every smile will last a lifetime. So again, so proud of you, everybody. Yes. Is there more you want to share with us? I want to give you the final words before we close. Um, definitely continue following my journey and obviously continue being someone's sunshine. I love it. I, everybody, please, again, Alexa Serafin, our 2022 USA National Miss New Jersey team. She's also an awardee of the Presidential Award for Excellence. She's also a New Jersey State Ambassador for Autism, as well as the varsity chair captain. She is the creator, again, of Be Someone Sunshine. And listen, AP Honor Student. And guess what? Our aspiring New York Times bestselling children's author. Let's welcome in. Thank you again, Alexa. We appreciate you. Thank, Thank you, you again. for having me. Oh, listen, it's truly an honor and a privilege. Thank you so much. Everybody, again, let's applaud Alexa Serafin. Thank you so much for joining us every week. Inspiration with Troy Alexander. We bring on amazing guests to encourage you to not give up on your dream. And our motto is dream. Take that step and walk with purpose into your destiny. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Go get that dream. Thank you, Alexa. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you. You too.